You smell a trophy? What is that? A cryptic code I was talking about. I think it's like the most aggressive card in the pack, too. Let's jam it. Staff of the Storyteller. Yeah, I'll play Staff of the Storyteller in aggro. It's not really an aggro card. Plays well with Skull Clamp and stuff. Too early to say, Florent. I did a stream with my first impressions a couple of days ago. So if you want to look over my stream overview, you can do that. Bitter Blossom here. Carnage Interpreter is very aggressive, but double black might be hard. Hey, Polymorphic Variable thinks the sob thinks the 38 months. Ooh. Yeah, Smuggler's Copter, Stoneforge Mystic, Rankle. Those are all aggro cards. I think Smuggler's Copter and Rankler are more aggressive than Stoneforge, but we do have this Cryptic Code already. And then we're just, like, already Esper. It feels like winning, right? It feels like winning the step to take the Stoneforge here. Smuggler's Copter plays pretty well with Bitter Blossom. But you can't take them all. You can't take them all. Ooh, Scrubland. Yes, please. Actually casting my spells? That's pretty up there. I think Usher would be our second pick. Yogg's pretty good with Bitter Blossom. Solid chance Yogg wheels. Into Marsh Flats. Shadow Spear is also good with all this. People tend to underrate Shadow Spear, though. It might wheel. I like Grief a lot, too. And Shinobi. Shinobi's an aggro card, right? Can we afford to take Shinobi over Marsh Flats, though? I feel like we can't. You just have to take the... Just have to take the fetch in your three-color deck. Shinobi would be sick, though. Baby Jace? Baby Jace is not an aggro card. Not on plan. I have played Stoneforge and Cryptic in Constructed together. I was not impressed. I was playing in Legacy, though. I guess Brazen Borrower, huh? Dreams is a little piddly. Maybe you could tame a priest. Maybe this fucking card. Oh, she went up. Hey, fire bat. Bad Matt Good thinks the sub thinks the three months. Does containment priest hose cryptic coat? I think it does. Because you're manifesting. How do I feel about true name? These counters are kind of cool. I'm going to take true name, though. Stalker here. Does that have any one drops at all? I mean, the Containment Priest can be a sideboard card, right? We don't have to main deck it. Parallax Wave is the one card that would make me want to main deck it. I'll draft a Noust. Get their shit out of my way. Oh, I hope we wheel some goodies here. Uh, some big archetype swings at Lohiam is like kind of too much to get into, but the the broad sweeps are. There's a pump deck. Madness and self mill are in, with cards like Hagak. And Twin is in. And Storm got cut to make a room for his stuff. They're doing this thing where they like sweep. They add a couple of archetypes and then they cut in a couple of archetypes. Yeah, Rankle's certainly more aggressive than Staff. Staff is really su sweet with Bitter Blossom, though. I do like Staff with Bitter Blossom. I'll just grab Rankle. Take the more aggro card. And then we get Yogg or Usher here. I think I'm going to take the Usher. Just get more one drops in. Yogg is good with Bitter Blossom. Uh, not off the top of my head, Axel. I'm sure I have, but... Hard for me to think through all of the stip drafts I've done over the years when I want to focus on this this deck hmm 
Hmm. This can bounce a thing. Mox Diamond is good fixing. I don't think we can take it over swords. Yeah, it might end up being like a 16 lane deck or whatever, and Mox might be awkward. I'll just count on getting some duels. It'll work out. It'll, it'll work out, trust. I mean, there's a Swamp Island already, right? If I wasn't taking the Triome, I think I would dig Dismember. Over these other options. Wait, wait, wait. Why am I listening to this track? When I could be listening to the one about lasered shooting dinosaurs. No Shinobi. Yeah, the Shinobi would have been awesome, huh? All these evasive threats. Wandering Emperor can be a combat trick. I'm wondering if Days makes sense. Luris could work out, but I don't think it really adds much to me currently. For Luris, I kind of like to have... I mean, Black Lotus is the Nutter Butters, but, you know, cantrips and stuff that work well with it already. I'm not just, like, excited by a 3-2 that might rebuy a fucking Usher or whatever. If I was, I would have taken the uh, the four mana three four that does that, right? The one with flying. They pass him pack one. I think that card is usually a better card than Laris. Evasion doesn't die to nearly as much. Think about counterspell. Curtains, Kaido, subtle team. Yeah, I don't hate Kaido. It's not super aggressive, but we'll probably draw some cards. Keep us from flooding out. Free spells can be pretty great. Parallax Wave would be awesome. Containment Priest and such. I'm going to grab the Chrome Monks here, though. It's Acceleration. It's Fixing. Look at a Novice Inspector, Retrofitter. Maybe Woe Strider. Tidebinder action, or maybe Elspeth, or the Rafine's in. I think we should probably play Rafine, huh? Since we're doing Esper Aggro. Got this Vindicate here, too. I wish we got gotten two picks out of this pack. Rafine might be cool with True Name. I don't think we're going to have enough shit for Seed Shark. Currently only one equipment for Stoneforge, right? Wouldn't mind another one. Well, our mana's not looking that bad for this spot in the the draft. Got a couple pieces of removal already. I guess touch is also removal, but... I'm drafting Christmas. I'm at a table with seven other players. We each open a pack of 15 cards. We pick a card, and then we pass it. And then this happens three times. We go in one direction, then it switches direction, then we go in the other direction. And we're all trying to build serviceable decks. So we're trying to, like, send signals to the people next to us about what colors we're interested in, that sort of thing. Hey. And we're specifically drafting cube. So normally people would draft with, like, one set of magic cards. Like, usually whatever the most recent set is. Because that's a cool way to like get cards and build your collection. But cube is a curated thing. From all the car most powerful cards in Magic history. Is Emperor good in aggro? Yeah, it's Dece. Good in a race. And then it can also like be a um, combat trick, right? Underrated as a combat trick. Can pump true name. Pack three power. Yeah, I think the power we'd most want is uh, Time Walk in an aggro deck. Followed by an on-color Mox and then Recall, maybe. Mana Crypt and Soul Ring would be both like kind of bad here, actually. Not a lot of colorless costs. Yeah, I like low-powered cubes. I like all cubes. I'm a fan. 
Yeah, Pearl and Jet would be a, li a little bit better than Sapphire here. Because Sapphire replaces an island. And we want um, days, right? Oh, hey, a time walk. Perfect. I'll take a Demonic Tutor. These uh, value critters would be solid. So would Lord Skitter. I'd play Lord, Sk Lord Skitter here. Demonic Tutor fits every archetype. I wonder how many times we're going to Demonic Tutor for a land so we can cast True Name on Curve. Yeah, we only need like one more playable. Some slots can be upgraded, of course, but mostly what we want at this point is just more fixing. We have double black, double blue, and double white requirements. So we would take fixers very highly. I guess Ophiomancer is the pick here. If we had Solitude and Palace Jailer, then Recruiter might be interesting, but 3 mana 1 1 is just not a very aggressive body, right, for your aggro deck? Silent Clearing game. Hidden Truck's good, but it'd be like putting a further strain on our mana base. Like I said, we just really want fixing at this point over most cards. Only the one blue duel. Fetchable blue duel. Liliana, Reprieve, Resto, or Soul Guide Lantern for the sideboard. What do? Hmm. Not a lot of value here for Resto. Oh shit, what up? Hey, Super Beeb, 6 of 40 months. Favorite Girl Scout cookie? Um. Well, that one that starts with an S, I guess. It's got a little bit of caramel on it. Hero Bladehold, Tolly Toller Sculler, or Luminarch Aspirant. What do I want? Sculler's got a little bit of disruption in it. Hero Bladehold just kills people sometimes. Luminarch's great. It's another Scrubland, I guess. Comes with a play tapped one, though. I already have one Triome in here. I like Prismatic, but I'm, I'm going to take this. Hey, Concealed's perfect. Not thrilled about any of this. Skyclave versus Skidder. Looks like the resto would have worked out. Can we play this him? I guess we're playing, trying to play Liliana. We, we can play the him hum. Not surprised by the Sculler Wheel. Hmm. It'd be real easy to convert blue to a splash, huh? And then our mana is like actively good. If we had more fetches, I'd like the stalker more. Might cut it here. Damn and selfless spirit's kind of a combo. Let's hit some of these three drops out of here and leave damn in. Maybe this is just it. Maybe this is uh maybe this is our Esper Agro deck. Star Grabbing Menace is kinda cool with the uh, Rafine. Stoneforge Mystic with uh Cryptic Coat to two drop is not meh. It's a good card. I don't know why people think they need to have like multiple hits for Stoneforge Mystic all the time, but it's still a good card if you just have one thing. So you're not certainly not gonna play like a fucking Sun Gold Sentinel over it or whatever. Yeah, Tater Chimp. Uh, we were talking about that earlier. This would be 10 black sources, 10 white, and only 4 blue sources. I think that's the play, though.
year old please sit down yeah right I got some um, some seated tickets for a Monomarth coming up, but those are going to be... There's only one ring of seats for those. So there's no chance that someone just decides to stand in front of you. Very aggressive damn there, huh? Hell yeah, Wilm. Should be a cool tour, eh? I looked at the list of bands that are playing, and a lot of them I would like to see, but Amon Amarth was the only band that I would want to stand for <laughs> for the entire set. So I was like, I'm going I'm to shell out for the, for the good tickets. My back will thank me. What a land here, huh? You saw a Mon Amarth with Ghost last year. Nice. Yeah, my girlfriend caught that tour. She said it was her first, uh, her first time seeing a metal band live, but she didn't like quite consider it a metal show because most of the people in the crowd were there to see Ghost. I've never been more okay with a mind twist for three. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. And then uh, we saw Meshuga together pretty early on when we first started dating. And she said the vibes there were a little bit more what she was expecting. What's a ghost crowd like? Uh, ghost crowds are good. They're there to see a, you know, a rock concert. A lot of goth folks. Um, not in my experience. Maybe a location thing. This grist is really grinding my gears here. I almost wonder if we have to try and clear it, huh? Because we can't quite kill them. I think we have to put the grist down to one and then hope we can clear it next turn. Probably going to buy them just enough time, huh? It would be kind of nice to draw non-lands at some point. One's got a wild mana base, huh? Faithless Looting, Inverter of Truth. Great. And now we're not even going to get to clear the Grist because they've got another thing. Oh, at least we trade with that one. Oh, they're just going to untap and twin me. Sixteen lands, yeah, but there's Chrome Mox too. It's it's like seventeen. <laughs> yeah, Thrasher. Are you gonna go? Happy birthday, regardless. Oh, she went up. Hey, Anoxia, things about thirty eight months. Swords would have been so much better last turn, right? Because it would have let me clear this fucking grist that I'm not going to lose to <laughs> single-handedly. Very cool trash aim. I don't play. Keeps on going on to these fucking '80s synthwave things. Hmm. What am I in the mood for? Speaking of howling giant. Very jealous of that treasure cruise. I 
I guess we'll play it out. Tamwonk here would be sick, huh? Oh, she went up. Hey, Tide Tide, these are 47 months. I don't know what Mall Nick means, Fonseca. Siren quests are very open. Thanks for the 690 or a mill. I'll get to you in a bit. Kind of a tricky spot here. I guess they might be too low for Fire Covenant. Let's take this Oracle. Hey, Noxia, thanks for the five bucks. I did get the song request in Noxia. Hey, GM64, thanks for the resob, thanks for 53 months. Hell yeah, Phil. I wonder if Skyclave should have exiled Black Lotus. Just restrict their mana a bit. All right, let's see what Orzammil's request is, which has some minor psychic damage included. 2005, which is a 1985 parody. Survival.
So they have Fire Covenant, which can clear the Selfless. Otherwise, that'd be a cool one to pump. Has been a fun game. That Time Twister really gave us some stuff to do, huh? This was another card that could, like, break up Kiki Jiki combo. But man, does that clear a lot of blockers, huh? That wasn't that bad. You built that up like that was going to be the worst thing ever. That was just some normal, normal pop punk paradigm. All right, here's an Anoxia request. Five dollar Ruski. Some request here. This is Jenny by Nothing More. You said minor? You did say minor. That's true. That's valid. That's valid. You did not plan to promise anything major. What card got cloaked? Not a creature. It's a planes. It'll highlight if it's a creature. Are we ahead? I don't know. I mean, it depends on what their last cards are, right? They have a lot of sick cards over there. If they have a way of reanimating the Thassa's Oracle, or if they have another combo piece with Kiki Jiki, they might still have me dead. But we're ahead on board, huh? We do not know their hand. They just brainstormed, right? A lot of their bidding Kiki Jiki. Probably a sign that they don't have another piece for that combo. Sick. I'd like to dedicate that game to my opponent's time twister. I think I want Breeze and Bar Bar here. I don't know what I'd be replacing though. Yeah, I don't think this is a good replacement. I'll just submit. Hey Buddha, one, three, 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 seven. Thanks the four months. Four months already, I'll cheers to that. Our man is good here, but our start is so slow. Might not be aggressive enough. Academy is in the cube, yeah. I think I'm gonna demonic tutor for time walk and then like not play it, like fire off Rafine and then rankle. Good thing we didn't scoop. Yeah, I was close. I was borderline. I was not having a great time. And I felt like we had pretty much no chance. He do really likes auto playing this Polythia album too. It's a good album, but I've heard it only three or four times over the last month. Hmm. Oh, what was the band? Let's let's look at some High Lung. I haven't heard, heard High Lung on stream in a long time. Yeah, this is technically music. Maybe I should be hitting the Mock Sapphire. The thing is, the, the, the Relic gets them all the way up to Kiki Jiki and Triple Red. The cool thing about exiling the Mock Sapphire is that they kill the Skyclave. They don't give anything back, right? Yeah, another 3-3. Oh, 
I think I'm just going to Rankle, or I'm going to Wandering Emperor eat that, and then go Rafine, or go Fieldmancer plus Time Walk. Yeah, it's a slow build, Hoabaji. How long is a uh, chanting heavy and melody light? Most of their instruments, they like made themselves, like they stretched their own leather from <laughs> from deer that they killed to make their drums. And one of them, uh, one of the few melodic instruments that they play, is not a violin, but like a precursor to violin from India. Really old timey shit. God damn it. Didn't get my time walk value in first. I almost feel like Bitter Blossom's too slow. Hell yeah, Degen Chrome. A lot of their lyrics are like very old school too. Like old translated poems and stuff. Some of their music got featured on the TV show Vikings, especially the, the last season. Was that Time Walk under the crypt cryptic code? It is, yeah. <laughs> Doom! Welcome, Doom Wink, Doom Raiders. We're just hanging out, playing some Vintage Cube, listening to some ritual chanting. Hope y'all are having a great day. Hope Doomwink had a dope stream. For anyone uh, that's following me that hasn't uh, caught Doomwink before, highly recommend. Great streamer, great taste in tunes, great folk. One of my favorites, worth checking out. Still like pumping the the time walk here. The ward two is obnoxious for them to interact with. Doom was doing dono decks. Nice. Not a bad choice, Fat West game. You should um uh, you should check out the band Giobia, Fat West game. If you're in the mood for a music recommendation. I dislike that drawing them a card might draw them into a combo. But I do like making them lose a life. Plasmatic Idol, in particular. Hell of an album. Love to hear it, Hawabaji. You know, we've done Esper Aggro, right? When our time walks dealt seven damage. Yeah. More than that, right? Or I guess less than that. This was the first hit. Time walk dealing any amount of damage. Just by itself. Oh, it's pretty great. It's done nine. I thought last turn we upticked Wandering Emperor and put one counter on it, but it had summoning sickness. And then this turn we upticked. I think it's dealt five. They have their own code. You wonder what their deck is? Their deck's, they're doing like a, oh, that's not a code, that's a Pestermite, sure. They've got Twin Combo and they also have uh, Thassa's Oracle in there. And they have a couple Planeswalkers. I got a few bangers. Game one, we were losing to a Grist super bad. And then they played a draw seven. We got back into it and managed to win. Well, Cauldron's good with Kiki Jiki. I guess it's good with a uh, Grist, as someone just mentioned.
Too bad we can't bounce this manifest back to our hand, huh? The grist cometh, shame. Could have ousted it. <laughs> the cloak. A streamer said come. No, no, that doesn't sound like me. That was a clean stream. Clean stream for clean folk. That's a lie. That's a dirty fucking lie. I was sweaty as shit when I went live today. Been doing a bunch of yard work and stuff. Cutting up trees. And then today, uh, I got my garden started. Got my herb garden started. Pretty stoked about that. A couple of years I did one, and it was super easy and awesome to just like have fresh herbs handy. And this year I know a little bit more. No, my wandering emperor. Yeah, I took a year off. Took a year off of it because I didn't have time to start the seeds in the spring last spring. I'm pretty excited to get back into it again. What's the temp there? Uh, not good enough, Prebin. It's actually like supposed to snow tomorrow, but it's at the point where the, where I need to start the seeds indoors. Yeah, I got a. Uh, um, I saw them some years back in Chicago. Oh man, I'm just throwing away my Stoneforge Mystic K. That's fine. There's worse things have happened. Anyway, the venue was pretty shit, but I'm very excited to see them in Milwaukee next month or so. Norse Opera. That's a good way to put it. Ritualistic, hum. Their live show. And not just Norse. They have a, a mixture of influences, I think. Gauls and all them. Kind of looks like I'm about to lose to a uh, Thassa's Oracle, doesn't it? Oh, there's, it's in their graveyard, though. Thassa's Oracle. Guess we'll see. Hell yeah, Death by TV. Yeah, X-Ray Arcade gets some sweet acts. I uh, I only went there once um, to see Howling Giant and Elder. But, like, Church of the Cosmic Skull was booked there when they came through Milwaukee. I had tickets for that show, but I missed it for a Magic Tournament. What is Cube? Cube is a collection of uh, cards from throughout Magic's history. Like a curated draft format. And Vintage Cube is the most powerful. Because it's got like cards like the Moxin and, and, and Time Walk and such. Crack that so they can gain two life, sure. I don't think two life's enough though. Wait, doesn't that give my Skyclave haste too? No, it's just their stuff, sure, sure. That five mana creature was the one that gave everything haste. It was in the cube briefly. Are they making infinite death rites? They could at end of turn, right, and then untap and try and kill me. But I don't think they can stop the cloak from getting him. And like when they top tap death right to make a blocker, it's not like they're up blockers, right? They'll end up with three blockers, however they spin it. 
I don't think they can gain a lot of life. They can gain like four, right? Kiki Jiki is underneath the um, Soul Cauldron Vimes. Oh, they're getting six. Yeah, I don't think six is enough, though. Yay. As per aggro, winning the first match. You'd love to see it. Opponent did have a sick one, yeah. I want to keep this hand. I shouldn't, but I want to. Probably going to be a Sylvan Scrying. We'll see how our draws are, huh? This music isn't very Esper, though. This is like some gruel stuff, right? Animal hide drums. Orzov? No way. Orzov would have some like real fancy fucking fine instruments. Like um like a modern day orchestra sounds. Orzov or Demir. Something that like an aristocrat would listen to, right? Something some rich person would commission. Let's grab Seachrome Coast here. And that'll give me my second white source for Skyclave if I find Skyclave. I think we can mill with Palantir again. Perfect. Sacrificial music. It's all sacrificial music. That's his music friend. What do we think uh, Esper music is? Orchestral? Like we were saying? Maybe like solo piano? Yeah, I'll keep milling. <laughs> I'm at six life. Jesus Christ. What about a uh, Cradle of Filth? Would that count as Esper? Yeah, you can draw land. You think Cradle of Filth is Golgari? No, no, no. It's like the most gothy band of all time. Mono black? They might be mono black. What color identity is King Gizzard? Mm, I think King Gizzard is Is It. They're like all about experimentation, right? I'll be right back. Got some food. Got some meat and roasted veggies. I told my uh, girlfriend that we were listening to High Lung, and she was like, oh, nice. And then I was like, and then we switched over to uh, solo piano. And she was like, naturally. <laughs> <clears throat> what else would you have done? I 
I could have Rankle draw us a card. And then Liliana uptick to get it out of their hand. I kind of dig that. I am a lucky man, punchers. What color is Spice Girls? I don't know the Spice Girls lore well enough to answer that. Maybe they're a mixture, right? Maybe each Spice Girl has her own color identity. Like, Scary Spice would be Rakdos. I assume. <laughs> Very cool, Dan Bopes. Thank you, by the way. I noticed that the, um, that the match tracker was working. We all appreciate you. Seems like they've got some Spirit Realm targets, huh? Maybe I'll play that over the dam. Power Wolf? Power Wolf is a very Orzhov band, yeah. I think I have to send this back. Yeah, buddy. They've been pretty public about that from the get-go, right? Last turn, I think they turned to the Palantir. Oh, shoot, what up? Hey, seven, thanks for 65 months. Appreciate the well wishes. Oh, I should have gotten Scrub Land there, huh? That's a terrifying card. Simic? Well, green is na nature. Oh, what about Psytrance for Simic? You, you, you get the electronic electronic music from um from um from Blue. The experimentation, the the tech sounds and stuff, and then from Green you get the the mushrooms. I knew this was gonna happen when I fetched myself off of Blue. They're talking about making another um, D and D movie. The release date for the D&D movie was not, like, not great. Everybody that saw it seemed like they liked it. Even people that, you know, weren't necessarily deep in gaming culture that I talked to, everyone seemed to enjoy it. I'm not sure how much that matters on Twitch chat. Like, it wasn't a bad enough box office that they're not making another one. Oh, fuck yeah. You're saying it matters for Chris Cox specifically? I mean, fuck that guy, huh? Not a bad Vincer. At least they're not getting their turtle back, I guess. But just removed like all of our pressure. Kind of hard for us to attack into that mutable Tom. I'm with you, Narthy Poom. It does kind of seem like every movie has to cost hundreds of million dollars of dollars and try and make a hundred hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, 
Oh, I got, I got you, uh, Twitch chat. I don't think that's true, though. Like, your logic is sound, but the, um, the folks at Larian, even before Baldur's Gate 3 came out and it was, like, super successful and stuff, it's not like they were talking about how they were going to, like, make a bunch of Baldur's Gate games. I think they've been pretty forward that that was not really on the on the horizon. That was not their plans. Would have been a good turn for a time walk, huh? Yeah, I think that sounds accurate, Mary Winter. I keep on wanting to click no, and then I'm like, wait a minute, that kills me. I can't do that. Not loving my odds here. Oh, I think this is my favorite track off the album. What's the name of the album? A Celtic Dream by uh, Michelle McLaughlin. You keep thinking my fork rattling is part of the music? Yeah, no, my bad. <laughs> hmm. To game three we go. Just died a Palantir to look at more cards in their deck. I guess. I think we've seen the bulk of it. At this point. As someone who hasn't played the Divinity or Baldur's Gate, Gate series until Baldur's Gate 3, it breaks my heart they aren't doing another. Yeah, but Larian Studios is going to do a lot of other awesome games. Like, my response after playing both the Divinity games when finding out that they were doing a Baldur's Gate game was, hell yeah. Just like any, anything anything they do, I'm excited about. I don't care what IP it is or what have you. It'll be awesome. Also, you should be excited because you haven't played the Divinity games yet. Those, the, those games have great story and gameplay and such. You already have two more games to, to chew through. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ben, thanks for the raid. Welcome, Raiderinos. Hope you had a dope-ass stream. You play anything sweet? Yeah, right, Tie Time? That's, uh, I don't replay RPGs that often, but I was pretty excited to replay that one. I also save scummed the ending on the skeleton dude to get to like see all of his alternate endings, which was very worthwhile. <laughs> if you've not done that, <laughs> hey Yuka Chaka, thinks the sub, thinks the seventy-seven months. Hmm. Can still bulk up somebody here, huh? Nope, never mind. Wow, that sucked. What was that card? Stern Scolding. Counter creature spell with power, toughness two or less. So if we'd slammed Ophium Man, so they would have countered that instead. And I'd still have my sweet, sweet Rafine. Do, 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 do. Stern Scolding is always a feel bad. I mean, if they counter my turn one, not sure I care about I care way less, right? Countering a three drop, though. Maybe we can get a rankle here and get some real damage going. We have a bit of a board presence. The One Ring's helping. 
Time walk would be sick. They're passing. That makes me feel like cryptic command or something. Oh, it's gonna be Venser again. They're gonna play Venser here. Sure. Oh, they're bouncing the one ring to get another fog in and reset it. That's clever. They have not shown Tinker in Elm. Oh, well, they probably have one in their deck because they just discarded a Blightsteel. Waiting for Waldo. I feel like we should be searching for Waldo. I like leaving the Cycling Lands in. We might want to, you know, cycle them. And then the usher's going to get in here. They get another 1-1 one, one hum. No one ring activation. Might stone and weak stone, sure. Drawn more, sure. Oh, that's a token or two. Uh, Edicting feels so mopey. Attack all. I don't think so. Battle Sphere eats Usher. Mirror token trades with Snake token. They can afford to like block one more or take three. Three doesn't really, three damage doesn't really do anything, right? Think about playing the Wandering Emperor and then upticking. But then if they can answer the snake token, they get to answer the clear the lily pretty cleanly. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. No, we would minus two on them. Eat a mirror token. It'd be okay, I thought about it. Mirror token's not much, but it's not nothing either. Yeah, I think attack all is pretty bad. Like, you might as well concede, and that's your line. Hmm. Turtle coming down? Sure. Time walk? Hmm. Kind of regretting not eating last turn, huh? We didn't know Coveted Jewel was a coming down. I think I'm going to play Cryptic Code out and down tick for another 2 2 and just pass. Maybe I'm supposed to up tick on the code. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Have it be four power. If they don't kill me on their turn, then this could attack, draw three cards, find time walk, time walk, attack again. Oh, she went up. Hey, Crow's Tongue, thinks that's 69 months. You wish the cryptic code could re-equip? I think that would help them more than myself. <laughs> if cryptic code had that ability. Oh. Uh oh. This is Blightsteel. That's potentially fine. Oh, she went up. Hey, cheese, thanks for 46 months. 
Yours isn't a cool sex number and you're jealous. I think most numbers are sex numbers. How many positions are in that Kama Sutra? 64. Yeah, so 64. Easy. You can do maybe like four. Yeah, right? I feel that. Yeah, the blight steel makes the blight, or the greaves makes the blight steel a lot better. But still not lethal, so that's good. Yeah, I think this game's gonna come down to whether or not we can find a time walk or not. We'll see. Right, Ninja Killer. Yeah, they, they have a cryptic code as well. And then, like, <laughs> Battle Sphere would be like making a 2 2 unblockable or whatever. And they'd be just like straight marking me. It is a wild send. If I want to have lethal on the crank bank though. Oh, the wandering emperor upticks. Yeah, let's put let's uh, overblock for blight steel a little bit here. And then this is 9, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, Blight still didn't have Infact. This would be a way different, way different situation. Oh shit. <laughs> Plus this, huh? How do I decide on the stem? I don't decide on the stem. Some of the ones to donate for a stip does. It's a stipulation draft. They stipulate it and I jam it. If the money's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, Metronics. I need to get better at ribs. I've only tried making them a couple times. I wasn't thrilled. With the outcome. I love ribs too. And rib tips. Stake them these with. Or at least I think so. A lot more experience. Are the stips that I would refuse? Oh yeah, there's plenty. Any stip where the the streamer has like no agency during the draft portion, I'm not stoked about. Am I a dry or wet rub guy? Um, I prefer prefer my ribs unsauced. I like adding my own sauce. I'm like a bunch of different kinds of sauce. Hmm. As usual, that croc is as awkward as, awkward as shit. Cool, I'm like pretty happy to trade with this giver of runes here. Guess I'll do this. I was planning on getting a Rafine turn in while they're tapped low, but this probably makes sense, huh? Um, 
Why is the music so relaxing? Is it, um, is that ruining it for you? I could, I could uh, accompany the music and make it less relaxing. Would that be better? Is that a requested thing? Fluffy face says, please. <laughs> Request plus one. Relaxing. I can't fucking take how relaxing this music is. <laughs> do do do. <laughs> you were all tabbed. Amazing. Oh shit! What up? Hey, Red Seven. Thanks for the sub there. Appreciate it. Pizza Ship Girl. Thanks for forty-one months. Appreciate the prime. Am I okay? Of course I'm okay. I was just reacting to re how relaxing the music was. That's okay, right? It was loud even without headphones. I was screaming away from the mic, too. You notice how I screamed upwards instead of forwards? It would have been much worse if I had not done that. You're welcome. Nobody's, nobody's, everyone's talking about how loud it was and how it hurt their poor tender ears. Nobody's talking about how um, sensitive I was pointing my head upwards. Hey, Spime Tyrell. Thanks for the sod. Thanks for the 35 months. <laughs> Cut it with the chill vibes. You're too relaxed. <laughs> oh, shit, what up? Hey, Blackfire. Thanks for gifting a sub to Togek1. Appreciate it. How do you make that your ringtone? <laughs> it would be a solid wake-up alarm, huh? Hmm. Hey, Tater. Thanks for the $5 donation. Streamer destroys audience's ears, starts hype train. Yeah. I scared Squish Pose cat? Oh, no. Poor kitty. Officially pet petitioning Michelle McLaughlin to add my lyrics. They're pretty good lyrics, right? <laughs> Pooped a little. Oh, my. Is this my fifth finals? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, friend. I have not been counting. Oh, not me. Tap your mana. Or tap your mama. Sorry, sorry for confusing your your uh, your username there. I like talisman's fine, but your curve has to support it, right? If I had a curve that was less on threes, like say we only like one or two threes here, my curve looks like this. Then I'd want talismans. Oh, especially if the if we're like actually ramping into stuff like above it. Like say the two drops are the same here, and then we've got like a like a nice thick meaty curve with the with the key spot on four, and then talismans are really good. Another cool thing about talismans is they don't just ramp you, they also fix your mana. So they can cobble together some aggressive mana bases, some aggressive splashes. I don't remember what my opponent was doing that well. Oh, they're like Boros Aggro, right? Or Sunfall is a card I can play. Not very aggro, but it is an aggro mirror. We can play both our sweepers. Let's cut <laughs> cut Rafine. Maybe cut Rankle too, hum. Fucking Caracas. Maybe Sentinel's better than Sculler. I don't mind trading it. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, Sculler's a little bit awkward with the sweepers, hum. Yeah, let's let's play this over the Sculler on the draw. And then on the play, I might bring it back in. Hey, Nordic Brass, thanks for 11 months there. I'm going to pause this, and we're going to play Tater's relaxing music song request. Jazz in a vertical groove, two minutes to midnight. A Seacrum Coast is a solid draw. 
It would be nice to have something to do on turn two here, though. We're having a real chill night, Aegis. Fuck you, still mad? What? No, we're, we're having a relaxing evening. Look, I pulled chat and I said, would you like me to augment the song? So there was less relaxing. I don't know what y'all were expecting. Some people just don't appreciate art exactly. This is an incredible cover, by the way. One for the cover playlist. If I can find it. Driving Miss Satan. Excellent name. I kind of want to skyclave the staff here. Big agree, seven. Big agree. Oh, not bad. Very glad I skyclaved. That this explains why they removed the snake token for one attack, huh? I like can't block here. A little worried. Hope I don't regret not flipping up my concealed here. Oh, derp. <laughs> the onboard Caracas. Well, in my defense, flipping concealed didn't uh, stop that. Also, that's insane, right? Just Caracasing that one. Cool. I felt like our curve wasn't even bad here. Oh, uh, sure. Actually, this is, uh, I Can't Play Piano, Part 1, by H. John Benjamin. He hired uh, a full pro uh, professional jazz troupe to record in the studio with him. And uh, he did not tell them that he did not know how to play piano. Pretty good album. Part 2 is a banger, I agree. You can't imagine what it would be like to be in that group. I think I think they're probably like, well, a gig's a gig. If I know starving musicians. Think about Wandering Emperor. Sunfall's funny. Him to Tronk, Ophiomancer. Yeah. Like the finale of Whiplash. Never saw that one. Oh, shit, what up? Hey, Whiskey Dingo. Thanks for the sod. Thanks for 34 months. Vintage Cube does get my highest viewer engagement. Yeah. What's your favorite thing to watch on the channel? Love to hear it. A 
little bit worried about dying to the smuggler's comp dame. Alright, let's listen to some, uh, some real music. If y'all ever get the, the chance, you should watch the music video to this. The, the track is called Juggalo Pen 15. And the uh, music video is very sexual, I would say. Hell yeah, bunny. Oh, she went up. Hey, Pico. Thanks for the 10 months. Finally, some good music, huh? <laughs> oh, that's very much, very much what's going on, Jack Cobain. Absolutely, Mary Winter. Go ahead. The anal ringmaster. That's a lyric, right? That's a lyric right there. Fucking poetry, right? Poetry. Not good poetry, but you know, poetry. Hmm. All right, listen to some. Let's listen to some Eminem. But also, it's uh, Mr. Blue Sky. Really use a um, time walk over here, huh? <laughs> you don't think this is music? What? No, 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 no. This is the finest, the finest of tunes. True, this is alright. Unlike regular music. <laughs> So they need a single point of damage. Well, let's see if they get there, huh? <laughs> oh, hey, it just got good. <laughs> Amazing. I don't have enough scotch for this. Welcome back, Robbot. Hey, Mio, thanks for the five dollars. You're requesting snitch? I did veto snitch last time it was requested. <laughs> but I can try and steal myself. I did just make y'all listen to Lose Yourself, but it's Mr. Blue Sky. Well, it's really deep in the tank on this loot, huh? <laughs> Good night, Seven. That's a fine line to draw. Cat Jam? I think this is, like, perhaps the least Cat Jam 
song ever recorded. That's just me, though. Oh, they just have a bolt. Okay, cool. Nice tank. Am I also supposed to like wait for 10 minutes now before the damage happens? Snurch isn't a word, right? Yeah, this song makes no sense. Hmm, Esper Agro. 